Well, it is repaving season in Indiana, but the state is moving away from traditional repaving in favor of what's called chip and seal on uh, state highways. NDOT says chip and seal's end product is better than it used to be. It doesn't leave loose gravel on the road. Well, Eyewitness News Noah Alonza is live in Posey County on Highway 66 where some chip and seal work is taking place. Noah? Brad, good evening to you. Yeah, right here along uh, Highway 66, the stretch at least between Wadesville and New Harmony. Crews have been hard at work in this beautiful weather to chip and seal the roadway, but some people we talked to today tell me that they're not on board with the project. A road repair project in Posey County is causing concern among some residents. There's oil all over my car now because chip and seals the, the pebbles and just a bunch of hot oil. Yeah, it smells horrible. It's disgusting. For those like Butch Dessar, a drive from his home in New Harmony to his workplace in Wadesville has been a mess in recent days because of a chip and seal project underway on Highway 66. The road was perfect. There was nothing wrong with it. There weren't any potholes. There weren't any tar pits. Nothing. If, if they were going to do anything to it, they should have just blacktopped it. Because that's, I mean, it would take longer, yeah, but it wouldn't ruin anyone's cars or anything like that. Chip and Seal is a pavement surface treatment that combines one or more layers of asphalt with one or more layers of fine gravel. The Indiana Department of Transportation says the process makes more sense. Yes, we have uh, had complaints of people, you know, having broken windshields and things like that. But, uh, you know, our process is very much uh, tailored to make sure that those types of things don't happen or that we reduce the amount uh, of risk for that. So what we'll do is we will actually um, sweep the roadway when we're finished before we actually put on the final layer of seal coat. Chip and seal is typically used on rural roads carrying lower traffic volumes. The process is cheaper than resurfacing with asphalt or concrete pavement, but not as long lasting. It, it, it provides a real bang for the buck. It's something that a lot of state DOTs have, have been using for several years. Um, and it's something that's going to continue and it's something that, that provides a really good value to the taxpayer while also allowing us to focus on projects that need more immediate attention. INDOT is also using chip and seal on other projects like State Road 162 in Spencer County. About two years ago, some residents in Vanderburgh County voiced concerns about damage to their vehicles from similar work on Highway 65. Drivers have more concerns than the longevity of the road. They are also concerned about possible damage to their cars during the construction process. Where the water splashes up, now it's just, yeah, it has a few cracks in it. Now, INDOT officials tell me that chip and seal is actually a very acceptable way to repave roads just like the one you see over my shoulder. The state actually saves on average anywhere between six and $14 for every dollar they spend on one of these projects. And some good news with the nice weather we've been seeing over the past couple of days, this project on Highway 66 should be finished in the next couple of days. Live tonight at five in Posey County, Noah Alatza, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Noah.